To lower engine emissions and comply with governmental regulation standards, your L-Series backhoe is equipped with a final Tier 4 emission engine. Most of the advancements are designed not to be noticed. However, operators should have a general understanding of how the system works and the various machine monitor displays associated with it. The engine uses an integrated exhaust filter. This one or two-part exhaust filter contains a diesel oxidation catalyst, DOC, only on 310L and 310SL machines and a diesel particulate filter, DPF, on 310SL HL and 410L machines. The DOC reacts with exhaust gases to reduce carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and some particulate matter. The downstream DPF forces exhaust gases to flow through porous channel walls, trapping and holding the remaining PM soot. When soot builds up within the DPF to the point that it restricts the exhaust flow, it is necessary to remove the soot. Trapped particles are oxidized with increased exhaust heat through a cleaning process called regeneration. There are four types of filter regeneration cleaning that can occur. Passive, auto, parked, and service. Passive filter cleaning takes place during normal machine operation. It does not require any operator interaction and has no impact on machine operation. In applications where the unit runs under heavy loads, the exhaust heat is high enough to naturally clean soot buildup. However, operating with lower workloads and lower exhaust temperatures, the DPF soot level will begin to build. When the soot level reaches a moderate level, auto cleaning is initiated. The engine control unit will begin to increase the temperature of the exhaust to clean the filter. No operator interaction is needed. The exhaust filter cleaning indicator will light up on the monitor to signify that automatic filter cleaning is in process. When cleaning is complete, the indicator light will automatically turn off. Automatic filter cleaning can be disabled, but it is not recommended under most operating conditions. Passive regeneration will continue, but the operator needs to return the system to auto as soon as conditions permit to avoid soot buildup in the exhaust filter. Refer to the operator's manual for details for disabling and enabling automatic cleaning. The soot level of the exhaust filter can be checked in the menu. Refer to the operator's manual for details on specific monitor warnings and actions required when filter restriction becomes high and very high. If filter restriction reaches the high soot level, the monitor will warn the operator that the filter is restricted. If warnings are repeatedly ignored, the soot level will increase to very high. At this point, engine power will be derated and machine performance will be reduced. A parked filter cleaning should be initiated. To perform a parked filter cleaning, the unit should be parked in an open area with the attachment setting on the ground. The park brake needs to be applied, the FNR in neutral, and the engine speed at idle. The monitor will guide the operator through the process. Refer to the operator's manual for exact details. Park filter cleaning will stop if the park brake is released, the FNR is moved into gear, engine RPM is increased, the engine is stopped, runs out of fuel, or the cleaning times out at 45 minutes. If a parked filter cleaning is not performed, the soot level will continue to rise and reach the service level. The engine should be stopped as soon as possible. It is recommended that you contact your dealer or other qualified service provider to perform a service filter cleaning. Since L-Series backhoes are equipped with a final Tier 4 emission engine, an additional technology is added to reduce the emission of nitrogen oxides referred to as NOx. Diesel exhaust fluid, referred to as DEF, is injected into the exhaust after the DOC, DPF filter that was just explained. A chemical reaction occurs that changes the NOx into nitrogen and water. Any remaining ammonia is removed by passing it through a filter. The backhoe has a separate tank for the DEF. The fill is located under the latch. It is a good practice to fill the DEF tank at the same time you fill the diesel fuel tank. Under no circumstances should DEF be put into the fuel tank. It's corrosive to steel and will ruin the fuel injection system if the engine is run. A DEF gauge is located in the monitor. Under normal operating conditions, if you run out of DEF, the engine will be significantly derated. Refer to the operator's manual for more details. By maintaining the DEF fluid level and keeping the machine in the automatic filter cleaning enabled mode, 
Most of the filter cleaning processes happen behind the scenes with no or minimal impact on the operator or machine performance.